Russell here with the products team. Today I'm going to walk through setting up the iConnect Audio 4 Plus with playback using iConnectivity's iConfig software. iConfig is designed for extensive routing when using multiple outputs in a live setting. Something to note, iConnectivity has a new routing software called Oracle, which is built for simplicity and easy to get started with, but it currently does not support multi-outs with an Audio 4 Plus. If you're using iConnectivity's Play Audio 12 interface, we would recommend getting started with Oracle. However, for the 4 Plus users, iConfig is the software you need for multi-outs with playback. Along with playback and the iConnect Audio 4 Plus, you'll need the proper cables and a computer with iConfig downloaded on it. iConnectivity's custom iOS cable is compatible with the 4 Plus, which allows playback to communicate with the 4 Plus, as well as charge your iOS device, whether that's an iPad or your phone. You also need a USB cable to connect the device to your computer. So let's open up iConfig. We're going to normalize the output volumes and set up the output routing one-to-one, -one, meaning that playback output one is routed to the 4 plus output one, playback two to 4 plus output two, and so on. So I've got my iPad connected to the first USB input on the iConnect 4 plus, and then I've got over here in the audio mixer a brand new session. And so you can see the sub mix and the busing section, the analog output section, and that's where we're going to focus on just getting the bare minimum set up so that you can use playback with the 4 Plus. So we're going to go over here where it says no source on each channel. This represents the four analog outputs in the back of the 4 Plus, and then these two with the headphone symbol are the left and right output of the headphone jack. And what you're going to want to have to do is get a TRS to two quarter inch splitter cable, and that way you can use each output of the headphone out separately as two extra outputs. And so we're going to want to set this up to be USB 1 output 1 to the analog output 1, USB 1 output 2 to analog output 2, and so forth. That's step one. Let's get routed correctly. So USB 1 to 1, USB 1 to 2, to 2, USB 1 to 3, to 3, to 4, and then finally, five and six. And now, since I've got my iPad connected into the USB one jack in the back of the iConnect, when I press play, it should come through those six outputs. However, second and final step, we gotta make sure and turn these faders all the way up. But you can click and drag like this, or you can double click on it and it'll automatically be normalized to zero dB. Now at this point, if I go over here to my iPad, where you can see when I open up my buses settings, you can see my routing right now. So I've got drums and loops coming out of one, bass out of two, piano and keys coming out of three, all the guitars coming out of four, vocals out of five, and then click and guide are coming out of six. And so when I go back to here and I hit play, listening to Every Little Thing by Hillsong Young and Free, you're gonna see the faders over here and iConfig showing all my outputs that are playing coming out of those proper outputs. The extremely important final step is to save current settings, which you'll find on the device tab on the menu bar. This command prints the configuration onto the device itself in order to have your 4 Plus routed and ready to go every time you plug in playback. Also make sure and save your preset onto your computer so that you can recall these exact settings anytime you need. Your Audio 4 Plus is now ready for playback. The 4 Plus's outputs will be directly correlated to the outputs of playback at the proper volumes. If you have any questions specifically about iConfig, feel free to reach out to iConnectivity's wonderful support team using the link below. Make sure and subscribe to our channel for regular streams of new tips and video content.